What if we move the moon closer to the Earth? That's a fabulous, fabulous question. But where is the moon? This is the Earth, and but where'd the moon go? Well, it's actually right over there. Right there. That is the distance between the Earth and the moon. Very far. And I think a good start would be for us to half the distance between them. This actually didn't do anything. It's really boring. But we can half it again, though. At four times closer, mm, still nothing happens. And this would be eight times closer. At this point, seven and a half times closer, things do actually start to happen. It might be difficult to see, but the moon starts to stretch and pull a little bit. And following the same pattern, this is 16 times closer, so we're getting really close now. And now that stretching that you saw becomes very prevalent. You can see it for sure. It kind of like acts like a fluid, it gets pulled in the direction of the earth and at this point inside three earth radiuses we start to get into what's called the Roche limit and this is when the moon gets too close to the earth that it actually gets ripped up watch this it even collides with the earth a little bit that looks pretty neat now we're getting really close this is over 30 times closer to the earth than it originally was and at this point the moon is going to start forming rings around our earth here and we gotta leave this mark here of debris where it kind of impacts at this point i'm just gonna go all the way and go as close as i can to the planet without touching it and this is just gonna be real devastating it just starts out it just <laughs> immediately contacts the earth and leaves this huge thing of debris it looks kind of cool and obviously the rings form after and this is gonna continue for until the rings decay 